Hey guys, so today is Friday. It is MLK weekend, so we have today off. So I'm about to go into Walmart and get my little grocery shopping done for the week and um, anything else that I need to pick up, like miscellaneous things. I don't really think that I need anything, but yeah, so uh, it's kind of, it's not early. It's only like, it's only, it's not early. It's around 10 o'clock. Um, but there aren't a lot of people here, so I was hoping to avoid a lot of people in the grocery section because y'all know how Walmart can be. So anyways, I'm about to go in here and I don't know if I'll bring you guys in with me, but I'll definitely show you guys what I get afterwards. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm outside of Target right now. I'm about to go to one more store to complete my grocery trip. Um, I didn't vlog anything like inside Walmart because I just needed to stay focused. And honestly, I forgot while I was like picking up everything, but I have a list and so I'm trying to stick to my list. So I was just like, oh, let me just get everything. Like I honestly didn't think about it. And I was listening to music, so. Um, yep, I'm about to go to Sprouts right now, and then my phone is about to die, so hopefully it doesn't, but I don't think I will get anything inside of Sprouts, or I don't think I will film with my phone inside of Sprouts, so we'll see, depending on if it's crowded or not. guys I am finally back home and I went to Walmart first then I went to Target then I went to Sprouts um so I'm gonna show you everything that I got at these three stores and I oftentimes wonder why like in people's vlog videos like do they go to three different grocery stores but honestly there's not one store that sells everything that you want realistically. So, I mean, it's it's either like, either you're gonna go to three different stores or you're just gonna go to one and be lacking with something that you actually want, you know? So, I hope you guys enjoy this little grocery haul. I never thought that I would like grocery hauls, but I really love grocery hauls. And I really don't know why, but it's just interesting to see what other people pick up at the grocery store. So um, let me get into it. I'm gonna go through the Walmart stuff first. So yeah. So the first thing I picked up was this ragu um, marinara sauce or chunky sauce. And I basically just put this like on pasta and stuff for dinner. So that's basically a quick meal during the week. The next thing I picked up is a can of chickpeas. And then I picked up a can of corn. And then I picked up a can of black beans. I know how Goya people like don't want to support anymore. Like I heard about all that. But um, I think like, so when I went down that aisle in the store, like this, these were the only ones where um, people weren't like in the way and I was kind of in a rush so I just picked up these three then I picked up these olives I don't know if these are the olives that I like Al Parado. I don't know if these are the olives that I like because they look kind of weird well not weird but the red things are usually inside the olives which they are in some of them but in some of them they aren't so I was just like I don't know but I picked up these olives to put in the uh, either salad or pasta. Next thing I picked up were these bowls. And I like these because they're microwavable. Not every bowl that you pick up is microwavable, like a 
plastic one or whatever. Then I picked up these mangoes. I don't know how good these will be because they're unsulfured and unsweetened. So um, I was gonna get the great value kind, but the great value kind are sweetened. So I just wanted to try these, maybe put them in like a, um, maybe put them in a smoothie bowl or something. Next, I got these carrots. Next, I got these potatoes, these red potatoes, a five pound bag, which I probably didn't need, but anyways. Next thing I got were these fries, and I don't think they have any seasoning or anything on them, so that's good. Yeah, they don't have any seasoning or anything. Next thing I got was this creamer. It's an almond creamer, so it's the non-dairy kind. It's the non-dairy creamer that I like. Next, I got this turbinado sugar because I want to transition over to this kind of sugar and not like the regular just white table sugar. Next thing I got were these chow cheese treads, which are a non-dairy alternative to cheese. And this tastes really good on top of um, elbow like macaroni. So you can make like a quick little macaroni and cheese. It's not gonna be, well, I don't make it baked because I just make it in the microwave. So it's an easy, quick meal for me to make. Next, I got this Cascadian Farms French Vanilla Almond Granola and it's vegan. And I have another one of this, another kind um, it's called cinnamon raisin. And so basically I just wanted to see if this tastes any better. Like I'm trying to find out which one tastes the best. Next, I got these whole wheat sandwich things. So instead of having like a whole slice of bread, these are like thinner, but it's still bread. Next, I got these raw whole cashews because I want to try to make a vegan cheese blend, like in the blender. Um, and I did not know how much these were, but these were like $8.68, which I feel like is a little bit pricey. But I just went ahead and grabbed them because I had been meaning to grab these for so long because the recipe calls for cashews. So I just, I was like, let me just get the cashews. But I didn't know until I actually got up to the register how much these were. I thought they would be like $5 or something because I didn't see like a price scan or anything, but these were like $8.68. <laughs> Next, I got these spring roll wrappers and I haven't, I wasn't looking for these, but I had been looking at videos online of people making their own spring rolls and I really had been wanting to try it. So I'm happy that I found these. So yeah, you get 14 to 16 sheets. So I'm excited to try these out. And we're on the last bag from Walmart. I just got some more lightly salted rice cakes, some utensils, plastic, and then I got some balsamic vinegar um, to like make some salad dressings and stuff. And then I picked up this chili sauce. I don't know if there's a better chili sauce. This was this one and there was another one on the shelf next to it, but it wasn't like a, I don't know. It wasn't like a chili sauce where I'm like, oh my gosh, like this looks so good. This was the great value brand. I just really want to try chili sauce because I never tried it before. So I see a lot of vegans use this as like a condiment on their food. So I want to try it out. Next, I got some minced garlic and some onion powder, which I didn't have. And the last bag, I thought the bag before was last bag, but this is actually last bag. I got some jalapeno peppers, which I need for the cheese recipe, as well as they're just good to go on your food. And some more mustard. I got some tissue too, but I don't feel like I need to show you guys. Everybody knows what tissue looks like. All right, so moving on to the next store, um, I'm gonna show you real quick what I got from Target. 
So the first thing I picked up was this sponge and it's just a Sony Kashuk sponge and it's like the marble one and this is $5. So I picked up a new one because the one that I have, I'm pretty sure I got it last year. So I feel like I should switch out the sponge, you know, every year. Honestly, you probably need to switch out your sponge in less time, but yeah, I, I thought about it. So I was like, oh, let me just grab another one. Then I picked up these vegan snackable cookie dough bites and these are really good. I already had some, so I know they're good. And yeah, like I said, these are the vegan kind and they have a lot of different other varieties that aren't uh, vegan as well. And then I picked up the cookie dough flavor, the non-dairy one from Ben and Jerry's as well. And that was everything that I got from Target. So moving on to the last store that I went to, which was Sprouts. I'm sorry if you hear noise, they're doing construction on the building. So I picked up these organic white corn tortilla chips. But the main reason that I went to Sprouts was to get this um, benevolent bacon. And I've had this before and it tastes really good and it's obviously made from plants. So yeah, it's a plant-based substitute for pork bacon. Cause I was thinking about doing like a BLT type of sandwich this week, maybe. Then I picked up these organic tomatoes. They didn't really have to be organic, but I just didn't feel like picking up a whole bunch. And these are already packaged for you. So I just picked these up. Then I picked up some limes because you know you always need these to go with your avocados or just on anything, honestly. And your salsa. And then I picked up these onions. I probably didn't need this many, but pick these up. And then I picked up these bell peppers. So the sign said four for five on the red ones, the yellow ones, and the orange ones. And I guess they were saying you had to get all the same color. <laughs> so anyways, I just got an, assource, an assortment. I got an assortment because I thought it was, you know, four for five, like these colors. And I was going to get a green one, but the green was a completely different price. Then I picked up some more avocados. And these are Haas avocados. And then I picked up some lemons. And that completes my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. And now the fun part, putting it away. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another Vlogmas video with me. This was Vlogmas Day 20. I should have some fresh, new, interesting things tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.